once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. The crafty goblins did everything together, until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. Ten years later, they were finally reunited, and together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. We should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone, and with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, Mom. I love you, too. Sleep well and dream, my doves. What a waste. I killed mom. I 
killed her. You doing all right? I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? And instead we've spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Okay, no, we're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on, up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. Goblin face is keep, dollar sign is donate or sell, and trash can is, well, trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff in the bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. You're doing a great job. Uh, thanks? Hmm, crummy table and wobbly chairs. We could make some pretty good money if we sell this. 
And I know I'd end up eating on the couch most of the time anyway. Oh. Oh, God. That's... What's that smell? Smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be Stinky Pants Sam? <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. You hungry? We have a whole lot of nothing. Aw, uh, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup-only sandwich? Looks like there's still a bottle back here. Uh, ew. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Mm, so good. But soft. What light through yonder? Oh, wait. It's just you. Clever. Clever. There's a paper plane stuck in the ceiling light. Maybe it has a secret message from our past selves. Find something to knock it down. Hmm. I could use that ball. Okay. Let's see if I can still do this. Five bucks says you miss. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> this is unreal. What is it? Allison's a uh, big fat loser. You're no better at insults than you were at 11. <laughs> Why mess with perfection? Baloney! <laughs> Guess who I found? Baloney! Alley Belly Baloney? Why, yes. I would love to have a tea party with you. Again. For the third time today. What's that? I said we should give our old toys to charity. Oh, good idea. Except for maybe one or two? <laughs> Softy. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Hey, Tyler! How does five little monkeys go again? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell down and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor. The doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. <laughs> or out of a tree. Don't say that. Mama's going to be so mad you had to go to the hospital. She worries way too much about what people think. Everything okay up there? Yeah. When's mom coming She'll home? be here soon. Is anyone hungry? No, I'm okay. Thank you. God. You scared me to death when you fell out of that tree. I cried most of the way to Tessa's house. It was kind of exciting going to the hospital, but... The part after that with Marianne, that was less fun. I remember the look that Tessa gave her when she finally came home. If looks could kill, right? Yeah. And Marianne was a mess. Thanks for clearing out those cabinets. Not my pleasure. Oh, ew, ew, ew. Raven Sarah. Oh, God. I can still taste it. Put it away. Ugh. Say ah. Uh... Ah. I remember cutting off shaving cream beards with these. <laughs> yeah. What about that dresser? If you want your towels to rot, go for it. Fair enough. Junkyard. Gross stain is gross. Ugh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. Well, I seem to recall a time you stole an egg, put it on the couch, and sat on it because you wanted a pet chicken. We don't talk about that. Uh-huh. Well, at least I didn't leave a stain. That's a nice face. I wonder if my horse figurine is still in there. 
Your what now? You know, my blue toy horse. With the kind of melted face. The one you stole from me. What? That never happened. Yeah, it did. I won it at that little Halloween carnival they had at the school every year. You grabbed it and hid it in the pot. Then when I tried to get it back, you said there was a snake inside too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. I think I remember the snake part, but you didn't win that horse. I did. And you were crying because you hadn't won anything, so I gave it to you. That makes no sense. Why would you hide it if you gave it to me? Because kids are kids? What to do with this? Maybe someone would be willing to refinish it. I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah, still deciding what to do with them. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. Has therapy helped at all? Oh, yeah, definitely. My therapist really heard me when I said I was a guy. And she helped me get ready for the reactions I'd get, you know? It's dealing with other people that's been way harder than figuring myself out. At the end of the day, being able to look in the mirror and see Tyler, that's made the biggest difference. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. Oh man, I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on, honey, smile like Allison. Come on, honey, smile like Allison. Now hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. My sister, the fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I though? Yes, all I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. Eddie now, take your time. He's not gonna jump up and do the cha-cha. What about me? I wanna clean the fish too. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh, only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Allison, when we're done with this half, you can take over and do the other one. That sound fair? Yes. Mm -mm. You're right. I was kind of being a brat. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <sighs> Oops, I forgot. All right, I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? Uh, yeah. Is that okay? Sure. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, I'll keep it. I really like that armchair. It'll look sharp next to your tree stump nightstand. I'll be the most stylish mountain man ever. But I was actually thinking it should go in your library. Library? We may not even have a living room. <laughs> I have faith in you. Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean? And finally, I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. <laughs> I completely forgot we had a pet vole for a few days. Poor volcano. 
She was in rough shape when we found her. Good thing Marianne actually knew what she was doing with injured wildlife. Lasagna! Lasagna! Finish your salad first. Thank you, Tessa. You're a lifesaver. No, oh, don't worry about it. They're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch, too. Oh, you're quite right, though. Uh, she can have my corn. <laughs> Here you go, little one. You must be hungry, too. <laughs> Tessa really did keep us all fed. She always tried to take care of everyone. Still does, I guess. Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Would you rather have instant coffee or instant coffee? Hmm, nah, sorry. I'm more of a tea person. Get it? Tea? As in... Mm hmm. How long have you been waiting to make that joke? Longer than I'm willing to admit. <laughs> <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah. You're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. Think they're all still in the kitchen drawer? We should go take a look. Allison's first drafts. Right. Because I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. <sighs> I can't believe she kept all these. <laughs> You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum, and she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone, but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. <sighs> Poor Moose. Really didn't do him justice. Hmm. Justice? Kind of ironic, huh? Considering he was the lawful good one? Too bad the law isn't really just. Hmm. Pelican. She was the most generous one. <laughs> yeah but there was always a catch. The bear was the most helpful one. He was always around. Stalking her? What? No. I mean, he was kinda always there, lurking. All right, I think I'm done. You sure? How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. Yep, totally Marianne. Why a princess, though? Why not a queen? She hated authority. Yeah, she'd have been a terrible ruler. These specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought-provoking. Indubitably. You better hurry, or the Mad Hunter will catch us! We need to hide. This way. <gasps> what's... what's going on? I... I don't know. I, is he here? Is he really here? I don't know. I'm scared. Go away! Yeah! Go back to the forest! I 
forgot about that. We'd been pretending he was there. And then, suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? Allison? Wait. It felt way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. Great. Hello? Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Well, hi, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown, who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so, uh... I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. Oh, uh, also got something for you, Tyler. Every man needs a good knife. There you are. Thanks, Sam. Good. Good, yeah. Oh, and before I forget, for the lady of the house. It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. The fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh... I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20-some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Box is in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. Well, I guess old bears can learn new tricks. <laughs> yep. Come on. Let's go get our electricity back on. So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. You really helped her out, huh? Now, you know, just a few chores here and there. I was, I was glad to help your mother. She... No. I could never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that darn key. Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh... Figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Uh, fair warning. Door's a bit temperamental. <clears throat> Haven't you been taking care of this place? You didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son, give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little jerk. <clears throat> Damn it. No oh, shit. Well, at least the door is open now. <laughs> yeah, uh... Well, that's easy enough to fix. Now, that fuse box. Oh, no, no, no. You and you are going to clean up your mess. I'll take care of the fuse box. But I didn't do it. I'm not asking. Go on. Should be easy enough. All right, let's take a look. Look at what? The whole jam needs to be replaced. Nah, just need to sand that part down. You could refinish the whole thing, but that's a lot of work for an old door. 
Hmm? Seems good. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um... Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. Hey, that's not cool. Sam has a serious problem. Sorry. It was a low blow. He really freaked out when he saw that gun rack. Remind me to take it down later. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all our toys. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. Maybe a car, ooh, or a tank. She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. <laughs> Are you cooing at a spider? It had better be a tiny one. Don't listen to the mean lady. You're an eight-legged beauty. Pret-a-rep. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Do not. Spill it on your shoes. I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, then yes. <laughs> hey, it was not funny. Sure thing, B-boy. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. Found Marianne's stash. Blueberry... Blueberry, salmonberry, huh, birch and fireweed? <laughs> Bet it tastes like restricted freedom and 9 p.m. lights out. Those have definitely gone bad. As far as I'm concerned, they always were. Does canned food really expire? I mean, it's airtight, right? Uh, not gonna be the one to test that out. What are we gonna do with this wreck? Take it apart and sell the scrap? Be my guest, but it sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow! broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see Mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. Come on, it's gonna get infected. I, I don't want to. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. There, by the house. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. 
Get out of here! Marianne... <sighs> I said get out! Out! What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann, I'm sorry. Please just go. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory's a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look, I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? Get out of here! Get off my property right now! So, we agree. Brown came out here and bullied Marianne the same day she attacked us. And then lied about it. Now what? You go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. Man. I can't believe Brown lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Oh, it's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. Guess I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hun, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. And it's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. <sighs> Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? It's, it's not the right time. A cash offer, Allison. I'm sorry, but it'll be a total mess. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Okay. Well, you tell me when you're ready. Huh. Well, I think I just made Tina's shit list. So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? She had someone who wanted to see the house, but he could only come by day after tomorrow. And you told her no? Yeah. We need more time than that you know, to get things cleaned up and, you know, 
Thanks. But what if it's the only call we get? Then I guess we just grow old and lose our minds in that fucking house. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <sighs> so, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded he like it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in. I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. Then why do you keep doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. I didn't come here to ruin your life, Allison. I just want some answers. I know. That's why we're doing all this, right? Her hometown looks pretty picturesque from here, doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. So, you really want to live somewhere super secluded like this? Alone in a cave, speaking for the trees? I do. Is it really that hard to imagine? I just don't think of you as a loner. You and I always did everything together. <laughs> well, you're way less terrible than other people. Found you! North Star! Okay, now you're the star and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> you were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. So, not too disappointed I turned down our chance to be billionaires? Nah, all that money would have made me soft. And I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come, but maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. Aha! I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? Uh, what I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better. <laughs> 